Hello and welcome to Real to Real, coming to you today from the Big E in West Springfield, where thousands of fairgoers are enjoying the largest fair and agricultural event on the eastern seaboard. The grounds here are filled with competitions, shows, exhibits, just so much that you could spend all 17 days here and not see it all. But first, the Office of Latino Ministry is once again hosting the Hispanic Pastoral Institute's program at Our Lady of the Elms College in Chicopee. The Monday evening classes prepare lay people to become certified as lay pastoral ministers. And as Carolee McGrath reports, Latino ministry in the diocese and across the country has become a catalyst for the entire church, pointing people back to Christ. Each year on Good Friday, hundreds pack the streets of Springfield for the Way of the Cross, led by the parishes of Blessed Sacrament and All Souls of Springfield. The portrayal of Christ's passion is in part a cultural tradition of Latino Catholics, but more importantly, it's a powerful and unapologetic witness of their Catholic faith. Catholicism in the United States of America is being renewed by the Hispanic presence. Dr. Hoffsman Aspino, an associate professor of theology and religious education at Boston College, was the keynote speaker for Our Lady of the Elms College Sister Mary Dooley Fall Lecture. His talk also kicked off the Springfield Diocese Office of Latino Ministries Hispanic Pastoral Institute. Dr. Aspino spoke about the importance of Hispanic spirituality and how Latino Catholics are leading others to Christ. But we can pretty much say that there are at least three streams of uh, spiritual life in the Hispanic community. One, we know that many Hispanics still go to Mass and receive the sacraments, the traditional liturgical life that fills the lives of uh, many Catholics uh, throughout the world. Aspino says the second stream of spirituality is popular Catholicism, which includes traditions such as the Way of the Cross. The third uh, uh, stream is uh, the rise of the ecclesial movements like Ursillo, uh, Charismatic Renewal, New York Ecumenal Way, and several others that are engines of spiritual life for the Hispanic community and for the entire church. The Hispanic Pastoral Institute is a seven week series which trains lay people to be leaders in the church. The institute is held each fall at Elms College. So, really important both uh, for the college to be of service to the Diocese of Springfield, but also um, to really extend a warm, open welcome to our um, Hispanic lay minister brothers and sisters, um, welcoming them to, to Elms College. And certainly the opportunity to welcome uh, Bishop Byrne to the college is also uh, icing on the cake. Deacon Pedro Rivera is the director of Latino ministry for the Diocese of Springfield. The series has been running for about 14 years and it's a series where we're preparing lay people to get certified as lay pastoral ministers. Deacon Pedro says during the course, people will also learn about the many Latino ministries in the diocese, including El Camino and Encuentro, or Youth Encounter. And then we're gonna close with a fellowship. Um, before the fellowship, I'm gonna do a little summary of what we learned throughout the seven, eight, seven weeks. And then we're gonna have mass, which is gonna be blessed with the bishop. And, um, and we have a, a fellowship, we have a potluck, where we have a lot of food from different countries of Latin America. And it's gonna, be, it's gonna be fun. Latino Catholics represent a growing demographic in the Diocese of Springfield. And whether it's pro-life ministry, youth ministry, Eucharistic adoration, or processions, Latino Catholics through these ministries are showing people what it means to live out the gospel with great joy. Estoy muy feliz estar aquí con ustedes. It's the Latino community here in the Diocese of Springfield is one of our most vibrant and growing communities. These are a people of missionary disciples. So the whole course of study of strengthening and building leaders is crucial to their growth and also to their enlivening the rest of the body of Christ here. The exciting part of, of that one when one part of the body succeeds, the whole body does. And I see this as a way of, of enriching and enlivening um, our whole diocese. And soon, a new class of pastoral ministers will continue that missionary work, bringing the light of Christ into the world. Reporting for Real to Real in Chicopee, I'm Carolee McGrath.
And we should mention that in light of the destruction brought on by Hurricane Fiona this past week to the Caribbean islands in Puerto Rico, Springfield Bishop William Byrne is encouraging parishioners to donate to special collections being taken up in parishes in the diocese. We also have posted a link at diospringfield.org to Catholic Charities USA, which has established a fund for this current crisis.